Welcome to the second day of Lixmas. Yes, I'm going to be wearing this silly Santa Claus shirt for all 12 days of Lixmas. Today we've got our first lick contributed by Marcel from Lessons with Marcel. So here's how I've chosen to interpret this lick on the banjo. Now, the challenge with a lick like this is knowing where to use it. This lick uses all 12 notes, which kind of flies in the face of the theory that certain notes go with certain chords. In a case like this, we want to look at what notes really define the sound of the lick and give us a sense of motion from one place to another. So think about this. The first note of the first three measures of this lick are all from a D major chord. And then by the time we get to the last measure, we resolve to a B, which is the third of a G chord. Even with everything else that's going on with this lick, we kind of have this framework of a D chord moving to a G. That's like a five chord to a one chord. The real purpose of a five chord to the one chord is resolving tension. So it kind of makes sense that the rest of the lick is full of all kinds of other notes that are creating a lot of tension. But there's so much going on with this lick, you don't necessarily have to play it all over D on its way to G. For instance, here's how you could use it on a song like Nine Pound Hammer. So if you'd like to learn more about this lick, and if you'd like to learn how to play it on guitar, then you should head over to the Lessons with Marcel YouTube channel. And if you're hoping to learn the rest of these 12 licks, and you want to learn more about bluegrass banjo, then you should subscribe to this YouTube channel. The tablature for all 12 licks, as well as all the examples, is going to be available in a handy ebook over at Patreon, so make sure you go check that out. It's where you can get extra bonus practice tips, uh, extra videos, all sorts of other content that you can't find on YouTube. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow for the third day of Lixmas.